Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Gold Rush. Uh, as you can see, I have been busy, I've been moving around, I've been taking out a whole bunch here. I basically started digging right after the last episode, I got the wash pond set up, got some fuel, and started digging, as you can see. About a thousand dollars short of the loan, we do have a little bit of gold in the bank still. Uh, landlord took 206, we have 75 grams left, and uh, the payments for the excavator and the loan was about 5600 so yeah and yes uh, I have been out of water since about one o'clock one o'clock in the afternoon about seven hours basically I'm done for the day I can't do anymore I do have a loan to have to take care of so we are gonna go ahead and do that uh, I was trying to see if I get some water uh, up and running again but that wasn't gonna happen so what I'm gonna do so I'm actually going to go to the blacksmith and I'm going to smelt down whatever gold I have there. Since I haven't actually processed any dirt. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> I don't actually owe the landlord anything. All I have to do is take care of the, uh, the excavator payment and the bank loan. And I did the math uh, after the, the loss at the blacksmith. And that's probably going to be the next thing we do pretty soon is getting the magnetite trailer. Because should have... Uh, should have enough to get an upgrade. Uh, I want to get the gold loss. That's 75,000 grams, unfortunately, but uh, that bucket's getting pretty full, so you never know what's in there. But, uh, yeah, I worked out we should be able to get about $2,500, $2,600. I want to try to keep some buffer. I do have a full tank of gas. Excavator is full. All the machines are full, so pretty much good. It's just a matter of keeping my head out of, above water. Uh, my biggest concern is if I don't have enough money to pay off the the excavator rental, then it goes back to the shop, and then I have to re-rent it again, and I have to move it back into position again, which means another half day lost because I didn't pay my bill. So, yeah, uh, that is a challenging thing. I have been putting a lot of thought of where this season's going to go, and I don't mean uh, the series itself, but, you know, we're in season two, or... Uh, coming up to the halfway point and oops, missed, missed my turn again uh, the halfway point of summer so realistically before it starts freezing up we've got I'm going to say 17 days because first day of winter is going to be after autumn so that's my thinking as long as we don't freeze up we're okay I have thought about the, the water situation too uh, I think after we stop here, we'll go head up the equipment store quickly and see how much that water tank is, the mobile one, because it has a high capacity. Uh, might be something to just get another pump running to get that thing filling at all times. So while we're actually running stuff, well, let's take care of that. So while we're, while we're uh, running dirt, when we have water, we can be filling up that tank so we can use that when we're not having water to run. You know what I mean. All right, so it cost me 265 bucks to do that. And then, yeah, as far as the upgrades go, yeah, that's going to be this one right here. I uh, get us. I think we get 5% more gold. Right, we go from a 10% loss down to a 5% loss. Cost, yeah, I'd rather have the gold, though. I know getting down here is going to get pretty expensive, but we'll be running a lot of dirt by then. Hopefully. Alright, so I got 14 minutes. Before we do that, we should actually check the price of the magnetite tra trailer. And it is... Not as bad as I thought it would be. But, as far as I know, I don't know, I don't know how much we get in a bucket. I have 28%, I do believe. So I have no idea how much that's going to be. But I do have some gold here that should give me, I'm going to say, 2500 bucks. Stupid fire hydrant. All right, and let's see what we can get here for it. Sell so gold, 28. Ooh. Yes. Okay. So that's actually going to cover our loan and our excavator payment. All right, let's go check the machine shop. Let's check on the price of not only the fuel tank, but... Uh, generator as well. No, fuel tank's not that big of an issue because it, it, it's going to be expensive to fill that thing. It has something like 10,000 liters or something like that. 
Oh. Don't need any more failures. And by the way, nothing's broken down yet. And I just jinxed myself, I do realize that. But we shall see. Let me get some light in here. So we got 60,000 now. Wow. Rental is 2,500. And no thank you, because it's going to take a day to get, just get that thing set up. And 25,000. It's not too bad. I don't want to really have to want to buy it right away because we'll have to disconnect the hose or have to replace that the permafrost or find a way to get that in the shed. Yeah, everything's going up in price big time. I could have sworn that shaker was a hundred thousand when we started. Anyway, ooh, uh, let's head back to the claim see if we have some water. And it looks like the water is just starting to show up now. Perfect timing. And the pump does say we are good to go. So since I'm set up and ready to go, I'm going to do some more digging. I have close to six buckets right now. Uh, landlord's not going to be taking anything. The bank and my uh, rental company is taken care of. So I'm going to dig until I'm out of fuel or out of, out of water. And right on cue, 12.30, Mother Nature decides to take a lunch break. So that means I'm out of water. Good news is, I have 13 and a half buckets of hay dirt. I got seven here, right? Seven, eight here, I got five over there, and this is number 14 I was working on, and got about halfway through until we ran out of water. But that's actually good, because I'm actually out of fuel. Uh, that thing's full, uh, empty, this is almost empty. This has some fuel, my, uh, let me turn that off. My last pump over here is almost out of fuel too. And I've been thinking about what I want to do main priority is making sure we have enough money to make the payments. Uh, I also got to make sure that the landlord has takes their share, but there's other things I want to get to. Like I would like to get the magnetite, magnetite trailer if I could. Um, same thing too, I'd like to buy the excavator. Excavator is the one that's really hitting the pocketbook right now. All right, so we're at 30% uh, in this pump anyway, so I can move the other ones around, but this is all the fuel that we have. So I'm going to, I'm not going to pick up the generator. Uh, I'm going to have to pan a couple of buckets by hand. So I got 1700 uh, Rent did go through. As you can see, it left me with $1,700. It was about $800 short before I sold the gold. I haven't processed any dirt, so the landlord isn't going to take out anything except for what I run out of these two buckets, which I'm going to have to do. And I got a bit of a, a bit of a parking problem here, as you can see. Uh, did quite a bit of dug digging. I dug myself into a corner. And I was trying to just squeeze every little bit I could out, and it was weather was doing fine up till about 10:30, 11 o'clock. It was 20 degrees, and it just the heat just picked right up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan, I'm going to do two, two buckets. Uh, just because uh, Lana's going to take his share. What did I just knock over? I have no idea. It's a good thing these, these buckets don't tip over. I must have hit, hit the excavator. It's the only thing I can think of. Anyway, uh, yeah, I gotta do some panning and I'll bring you back with uh, a total. And there we have it, 207 and a half. I had 96 from the first bucket and I had 110 from the second bucket. So that is pretty good. Uh, so that means I can, I can sell about 140 grams of that and that'll get me money into the bank and keep the landlord happy. And then uh, we'll come back and hopefully by the time we get back we have water. I've never seen it so dry before. Well, such a shame. Anyway, I'm going to go run off to the blacksmith and the bank. And then uh, when I get back, hopefully we've got some water and we'll process the rest of the dirt. What a stroke of luck. I just got my gold bar and it started raining. Which means when we get back, we might actually have water. And so what I'm going to do is, the reason why I'm doing this now is because I want to make sure I have money in the bank just in case we didn't have any water to process that dirt. Because, like I said, I, that excavator is not going back. I do not want to have to move it back in place again. And the whole nine yards. So, I smelted 150, uh, 150 grams, which should get me about six grand or so. Five grand, that's fine. 
Sell that. What do we got left alone here? Ugh, 36,000. That's a big priority. We can get that paid off to, with the gold that we have. Great. Uh, I figure if I still got 10 and a half buckets, should be at least a thousand grams. 300 to the landlord. We might be able to pay off the loan, or at least get most of it paid off. Of course, we do have to smelt it all, too. But again, the question is, do we get the magnetite trailer? That I do not know. We'll find out as soon as we get back to the claim here. Uh, which I will do in a second here. Ah, the magic of editing, isn't it great? Anyway, I am back. I have all my buckets. I got the generator all hooked up. I got the water switched over. So now I'm going to go ahead and process this. I have... I'm going to try to keep an, an, eye, an eye on how much magnetite we get out of all of this because I want to know how much magnetite actually fits in a bucket. So I do have all this stuff to, to run, get the magnetite, and process the gold, and I shall return with the final number. Well, so far from what I've seen for the magnetite I'm getting out of these buckets, I'm actually hopeful. I'm getting like 16, 15, 1600 grams for most of the buckets, which is surprising. So we might actually get a good clean out. That was actually a bad bucket, but I just have two more to go, or actually one in a bit. This is the last full bucket here, and just I got the partial. These have all been pro uh, demagnetited. That's a fun word to say, demagnetited. I know it's not a real word, but whatever. There you go, 1600. So there are some really good buckets here. And this will be the last one. Probably like 30 or 40 grams. 500. Oh, that says something. Okay. Now to process this. All right. Uh, let the waving begin. Okay, all done. And wouldn't you know it, that, uh, that pump ran out of fuel like the last bucket and a half, so I had to run all the way down there to go grab that pump and bring it over here so I actually had water. So that being said, as you can see, I have 1,200 grams uh, plus the 200 I had before, that's 1,400 grams. Now 1,400, so that means I gotta have to save about 450 for the landlord. So that gives me at least 700 I can spend, or melt down. Uh, well, that's at least a bar, you know what, let's actually do that. Uh, probably should take get the trailer, we gotta get fuel anyways. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the tank, and then I'll meet you at the blacksmith. Okay, here I am. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna run in here, I'm gonna smelt up my max amount, which is the 18 ounces. So it gives 18 ounces afterwards, costs 2,000. Uh, I have looked at how, how much I have an idea of how much magnetite I have. I figure I have around 50,000. So this might be worthwhile. I think it cuts the cost in half. But I want, still would like to save up for this. So we're going to go ahead and gonna bite the bullet on this. And hopefully we can get to the bank before payments go through. Because, like I said, can't have that happen. And while he's doing that, we're going to run over to the machine shop and do a little bit of pricing. Uh, I want to, you know, like I said, I want to try to get the big excavator, you know, in my name before before permafrost, before winter, so that we're not, we're not paying any, uh, any rental on it. Because four grand a day on that thing is ridiculous. Like I said, that's, that's basically like a hundred and... 130 grams a day because we have to pay the landlord so anyways let's go have a look and I wish I could have a day where it just rains all day but let's see what we're looking at here I'm scared to look I'm scared to look I'm gonna close my eyes tell me what it is uh, eh, it could be worse I was hoping it was gonna be on sale because if with the amount of gold I sell I might be able to get if we do one more run like we had today, might be able to actually borrow enough from the bank to actually get it, uh, to buy that anyways. Uh, again, I'm also thinking about, uh, see that's going up again. 
that would come in handy so would this like that would really come in handy but <sighs> uh, as I said before nobody said hard mode was gonna be easy anyway I'll meet you at the bank okay so we saw this that's actually uh, for some reason I was thinking it was only to be 15 that's actually not too bad that gives us 25 now a look at how much gold I have now I don't think the land is gonna take really take more than four 25 for 30 so that still leaves about eight or nine grand we have to mess with uh, I still need to buy fuel I still gotta have money saved left up saved up but I am gonna pay off some of this loan uh, probably I need four thousand for gas if I pay that that'll leave nine you know for two days let's pay off ten grand and that takes five hundred dollars a day off my payments which makes it so much easier basically one good day and I could get that paid off and then hopefully we'll be able to take out a big ass loan and be able to buy the excavator anyway uh, I gotta go fill this thing up with four thousand dollars worth of fuel and my truck with a couple hundred dollars in fuel and head back to the claim okay I'm back and what I'm doing is I'm actually just filling up all the pumps and I'm actually moving the pump back where it belongs no give me that I have issues with that sometimes it likes to jump out of my hand and sometimes it likes to return back to where it was so we're going to do that uh, yeah might as well might as well take this pump with us so I'll have to actually reconnect it disconnect that one and reconnect this one and the whole nine yards uh, gas was on sale by the way it was 398 last time this time it was 393 I saved the whole nickel I feel special all right and what I'm gonna do is keep my engine running uh, I'm gonna sort of think about where I'm gonna go next because what I've done is if I open up the gold map here it's actually easier for me to show you what I've done is that basically I think this strip right here, everything I've cleared out. There's apparently still some gold here, but I didn't really get far down. So I'm trying to figure out how to set up a wash plant and have the excavator go at the same time. I might have the wash plant sort of on the edge here and have the excavator on this side and sort of dig this area, feeding the plant, and just move it along this way as I'm going along here. Because apparently it's still pretty good ground. It's not the best in the world, but this is also just a cheap claim too. There's still a big pocket right here. I want to see where that is. Where is that? Over there. We'll go check that out in a second here. Let me uh, hook this back up. That's not a pump. Yes, you get in there. And I don't want the magic bucket that... Not that bucket. Jeez, who knew it was so hard to get something out of a box in real life? Alright, out, in, and make sure. Don't want to lose these buckets, man. They're, these things are about as valuable as the gold I'm putting in them. Let's get some light so we can both see. Okay. That is good. And let's see what we have. I was gonna fill this one up too. Let's actually do this quickly. Fortunately, this thing, this this uh, mobile tank fills these things up real fast, just like that. Uh, jerry can. Where did I have the jerry can? I think I left that back there. Oh well. Okay, so that is the square there. Hmm. Yeah. See, now that's the problem because I've already got this hole here as it is. Let's have a look, shall we? Now we have some moonlight. Alright, so this is good ground here, so I'm assuming this is all going to be good. Now, it it's, does not make sense to have to turn the excavator around a full 180 degrees. So what I need to do is i got to figure out where I'm going to have the wash plant and where I'm going to have the excavator. Unfortunately, the ground's not exactly the smoothest here. And I don't know if they fixed it, but... In the past, you used to have an issue where if, if you moved dirt, you lost the gold just by moving it. But I'd like to continue along here if I could. You know what I mean? Like, 
where would I set the plant the first time? Probably here. Because the excavator would probably sit about here. Got a fair reach. It might actually work. I don't know how much fuel I got left in this thing. Let's find out. Let's move this over and see what we have. Okay, good. I filled it up before I left. Alright, let's uh, close that. Because that is dirt. We can't afford to lose that. And I can't afford to be running over my hose connection. Not that things are indestructible, but... As I uh, ram into my, my wash plant, my money maker. Jeez, this thing drives like an excavator. What's going on? Grind. You know, I'm probably going to jinx myself for saying this, but I'm actually surprised I haven't had any breakdowns or failures. Let's turn this the right way. I wish there was a way you could actually tell which was the forward and front and back on the tracks. And I have a feeling it's got to do with the... Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, you can tell. Yeah, the tensioner would be in the back. That makes sense. But then what do I know? I know nothing about excavators. This is the closest I've ever been to driving one. Wow. I drive a forklift, same thing. Piece of cake. Alright. And now I want to see, because like I said, I want to have, probably have to set the plant. I might even, maybe even here. Right about here. Because there's got to be a somewhat level ground. And then I can and park here. I can almost reach it. See, now I got that wobble going on too. Which I don't like because when you start digging, then you bounce around and you start moving around. Doesn't make that big of a difference normally, but when you're lined up to get to your wash plant properly, it does make a difference. All right, let's see if we can get up a little bit more. And let's see. I think that could work. Ugh. Getting my keys wrong in here. And if I go a little bit closer to about here, now I get nice good coverage. And then the wash pond could sit right on top of that mound. And that gives me access to a lot of dirt to dig. Uh, I will have to spin around a few times, but I do have sort of a strategy when I do stuff like this. Is I'll take two scoops close by to make sure it's full, even overfill it just a tad. To give myself time to run over here and grab a bucket and go back. But the fact that it's really shallow here. I got maybe one or two buckets deep and then I'm hitting bed hitting the undiggable ground. I won't call it bedrock because it's not bedrock, but you know what I mean. But anyways, uh let me check the time here. I think it's a pretty good time to call it here. Uh I gotta get everything set up and connected and running. Uh hopefully we have another rainy day tomorrow. Uh, we're actually going to well stick around for the next half an hour, see what the landlord takes, and see how much gold we have left. It's a big hole. Really big hole. But I'm hoping that this is the good money right here. The best bucket I saw, which was surprising, considering the fact that I'm supposed to have less gold in hard mode, was 119 grams. And I saw two buckets like that in here. But anyways, uh, I'll bring you back just before... I'm going to start moving some stuff in place and I'll bring you back just before payments go through. Okay, payments should be going through pretty quick now. Just winding everything up. i got to reposition all the water lines too and 
Hopefully they should reach. I probably shouldn't have to worry about the hose too much. There we go, 407. So that means we have 245 left. And the payments went down. That was 1711. Now it's 1234, which is really good. We made 1356 grams of gold. Wow. They've made 245, which means, like I said, about 9 grand. Plus a six. We got a couple of days to run, but hopefully the uh, the next one will be a good one. But anyways, good play. Like I said, we'll end the episode here. I thank everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and of course, I'll see you in the next one. Later.